Fabiola. Hi, Agnieszka. Hello. Uh, I have a first question for you okay. about uh, what is it for you, femininity? All right. Uh, femininity for me, it's um, uh, when a woman uh, becomes aware of who she is and um, she appreciates her body and she's comfortable in her own skin and she's able to mm -hmm. in, uh, influence the world as a woman. That's what I think femininity is all about. Mm -hmm. And um, she's able to give birth to the um, nature, what uh, is expected of her, irrespective of her color, of her stature, of her height, of whatever she society might paint her to be, but she lives independent of this. She's mm -hmm. living her life as an individual, not just as a, um, someone who the society presents uh, a woman to be. She, she's living a purposeful life, um, fulfilling all purpose she came to this world to do and she's making the best, uh, um, making out the maximum use of everything that is deposited inside of her. She's full of potentials and mm -hmm. she's uh, betting ideas and visions that is improving our world and our society at large. Mm -hmm how she can influence influence the world mm -hmm. because you you told that she can influence the society and the world how how woman can do it okay i think the first thing uh, a woman should do is um when you uh, come to understand who you really are and mm -hmm. um what you 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 find um joy in uh doing every time Mm -hmm. If you find joy in, for instance, maybe um, baking, if you mm -hmm. do it, you will, you, will, you will make an impact in the world around you. Mm -hmm. And when you're comfortable with what you're doing and you feel appreciated, you don't need anybody to tell you thank you, but you're just deriving joy from whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Then you have the ability to influence the world and you have the ability to get new ideas. Because when your mind is... Uh, joyful and when your spirit is joyful you have the ability to bring out new ideas but when you're depressed and you're not happy mm -hmm. um, things cannot work out fine and you will not mm -hmm. be able to influence your world like that mm -hmm. so. so when you felt for the first time that you are a woman a real woman when did you feel this femininity inside of you okay. what gave you this this happiness I would say the first time I felt like a woman, maybe the first time I saw my period, like because I've uh -huh. always heard that um, you're not yet a woman until when you see your first period. Maybe uh -huh. that's so um, kind of Africanish, but I think so. Like the first day mm -hmm. I saw my period, I was like, yeah, I'm not a woman. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I felt so happy. Like, mm -hmm. So I felt like. Um, I could, I'm, I'm complete, like I think this was complete mm -hmm. to be a woman and that was all I needed and I mm -hmm. felt complete and I could do anything like so far it's an idea and it comes to my mind, all I need to do is to put my mind together and bring it out of me. What do you want to put out of you? Mm, I think there is a lot deposited inside of us as women, as human beings generally. And um, we keep discovering ourselves every day, every day. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, every time I discover something new and unique about myself, I bring it out of me. Um, for instance, like let me say some years ago, I will never stay in front of the camera because mm -hmm. I'm like, <gasps> the camera is not for me. But now <laughs> I can stand confidently in front of any camera because mm -hmm. I just feel so confident about myself. I'm comfortable in my skin. I can talk and I'm proud to be who I am and for me that, that's just it. Anytime I discover something about myself, I bring it out. I just don't um, and sometimes, you know, opportunities make us dis develop and uh, discover who we really are. Mm -hmm. Like um, if for instance, Agnesha asked me for this um, video and I said, no, I don't think I can. I'm so shy. But here am I, I'm talking. I, I could do yeah. it and yes. it's just in trying. Like if an opportunity comes to you, just try. If it's not for you, then you drop it. But if it's for you, then you go for it. Say for instance, someone say, can you make up? And you're like, I don't think I'll be able to do it. But you just a little try. It can make you discover that, wow, so I could do this? Mm -hmm. Really? I didn't know mm -hmm. I could do it. That was for me. I discovered a lot of things about myself. I started trying things and I started discovering, wow, 
so I could be this person. Wow, so I could do this. Wow, for me it becomes it becomes very interesting, discovering a lot of things about myself, and for me it has been very inspiring. Mm -hmm. What do you think is doing us women more femi feminine? For me, a woman can be anything you want to be. A woman can be a pilot, you can decide mm -hmm. to be a captain of the ship, mm -hmm. anything you want to do. So far, it's mm -hmm. doable. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. a woman can be very independent, but not totally, I'm not saying exclusively independent, but I believe um, you can think outside the box and stop limiting yourself and stop feeling mm -hmm. like I think this is just for the guys it's not meant for women I think mm -hmm. a woman can do anything and can become whatever you want to become mm -hmm. so you think that this femininity mm -hmm. is inside of us yes. it's nothing what is outside of us mm -hmm. it's nothing. I think it's solely inside of us and I think um, everything you require for your life it's right inside of you um, mm -hmm. everything you require for your own life to be somebody to be mm -hmm. out there I think it's deposited right inside of you and the only thing that um, makes it very difficult for a lot of women I think it's a play of their mind of their mindset mm -hmm. you know sometimes they just feel like mm, I don't think I can do this or a lot of people are telling that like, okay maybe for instance you're fat so you can't really do that or you're too slim I don't think it's good for you. I think you're dark. I don't think you'll be accepted. I think you're too white. So mm -hmm. there is a lot of um, mm -hmm. restrictions as to what a woman can do. Mm -hmm. But when you feel comfortable in your own skin and you have a mm -hmm. good mindset mm -hmm. and you feel like you can do anything, then you're up for the game. You can do whatever you want to do. That's what I think. When there was very small Abiola, mm -hmm. very small girl, mm -hmm. Uh, how did you saw yourself as a grown woman and what this small Abiola will tell but today's Abiola? Okay, um, I think when I was in high school, guys messed up with me a lot of times, so like I get threatened by guys and I feel so scared, like, <laughs> I'm so scared, this guy is going to beat me up or something, but I think the small Abiola will have to the big Abiola to be more confident. I think if I was this confident when I was younger, I would have been, I would have achieved a lot of things. And if I was this comfortable in my own skin, because when I was growing up, I was very tiny. I was very mm -hmm. slim. Mm -hmm. And sometimes everyone is just like, you're too slim, you're too thin. I just feel like, am I sick? I ask my mom, mom, do you buy time <laughs> to grow up? But I would have told myself that it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. you will still be who you want to be like now i think most people want to be slim but then i was so scared of being slim at, at times i'm like i'm like should i go for hiv test do i have hiv am i so slim like this but now i i love my body everybody just like wow i feel like i just wish you could be like you you know you're just slim and i'm like yeah you can say that again <laughs> <laughs> but if i had known that being slim was yeah. not um it was not a disease, it's just maybe mm -hmm. my metabolism mm -hmm. and something. Mm -hmm. I would have felt so much confident and I would be able to face a lot of things. But back mm -hmm. then, I pulled back because I always felt I was too slim. Mm -hmm. I always pull back in so many things. Like if you say, go for this, I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I think I, I couldn't even participate in sports because I felt I was fragile. I'm like, no, I can't play the basketball. I think I'll just break. <laughs> no, my hands are not bouncing anymore because I just, I felt. I'm so slim, everybody is growing up. I think back then everybody was growing so fast. I, I didn't have boobs. My boobs were so tiny. I'm like, and is my breast going to come out? <laughs> but now, like, I just look at myself, I'm like, if only I knew that it's just a matter of time, everything would be fine. I would have calmed down and be more confident about myself. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think I would have told myself. Mm -hmm. Like, love yourself, love your skin. It's just mm -hmm. a process of time. You'll become who you really want to be. Mm -hmm. What kind of woman do you want to be in the future? Uh, okay, I want to be a woman that will influence my world in every positive way mm -hmm. and um, help other women to discover who they really are and to never be idle and to never see themselves as um, secondary. Um, mm -hmm. To always see themselves as an individual. You know, when you feel like you're complimenting someone, it's a very bad idea. But when you see yourself as an individual, you're trying to make something for yourself. 
and something that you think that you were created for and that is a good compliment to whosoever you associated with say for instance you made a name for yourself your parents will be happy your siblings will be happy everyone around you will definitely be happy but when you feel like you're waiting for someone to uh, make you who you want to be i think it's a little bit problem i just think you can be who you want to be and anybody mm -hmm. that comes to you will also be a compliment to you and that's for me that's the kind of person i want to be and that's what mm -hmm. I want women all around the world to see themselves as like see yourself as an individual first and you make the best of yourself enjoy every part of yourself because um if you are a child and you don't play when you become 30 you you can't probably go back to that time so enjoy every phase of your life when you're a teenager enjoy yourself when you're an adult enjoy every bit of your body the way your body changes just enjoy it because it's just one life if you don't live this life well nobody's gonna live it for you so just live your life and enjoy every second of everything that happens to you as a woman that's what i have to say what is the difference to be a woman and to be a man i see them equally and i think it's more physical just mm -hmm. physical changes um maybe some hormones too <laughs> presence of some hormones and and I think um, having men and women makes the world very interesting because if everybody were to be women, yeah. I don't think it's yeah, so it would be boring. <laughs> <laughs> and if it was going to just be all guys, huh? Oh, yeah. They would be so lazy. They won't have to be dating. I think so. <laughs> so, it's more physical and a bit of emotions and hormones. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. are feeling more feminine mm -hmm. you are more sexual do you see the connection between this oh, how do you feel this for me i don't necessarily feel like uh, you as a woman for you for, for, for you to feel more like a woman you need to feel more sexual i don't really mm -hmm. necessarily think that mm -hmm. i think um the word sexuality may mean a lot of things men uh, and different things to people for instance uh, your confidence may be very sexual to someone I'm like wow I love the way she talks mm -hmm. and for some it might be your physique even when mm -hmm. you're aware or when you're unaware you don't have to sometimes you just walk on the street and the guy's like wow that's a nice physique even though you're not aware that someone and for some people it might just be your smile or the length of your hair or someone just like wow you hair so long i love it so different things so i don't necessarily mm -hmm. think that um uh, to feel more like a woman you need to to put an extra effort to be more sexual no if you're just uh, comfortable with yourself and you you love yourself in the way you are you will always be sexual in your way yeah. what was your intention to come to this interview for people to see another kind of perspective you know sometimes you just think like maybe it's only this particular set of people that think like this but just for you to know that sometimes some things are very universal we all feel the same way we all have the same hormones running in us whether you're black or you're white or you're asian or whatever color you might be I think we just uh, might be passing through similar situations and uh, we might also be alike in a lot of ways as a woman, as a female. Um, just to pass a message across to everyone that um, you're not just the only one out there who feels the way you feel or it, it has nothing to do about your career or your 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 skin color or what it's just something very universal and that's one of the things i came to show on this interview diversity like even though we are very diverse in our color we're almost similar in, in every other way yeah mm -hmm. thank you aviola thank you so much